Thank you for joining us today. My name is Roger with CableGiant.com. We're here to show you how to install the double bubble F connector onto a piece of RG6 coaxial cable used in most uh, TV installations in your home. First thing I'd like to suggest before you actually uh, start the process is assemble the, the right tools for the job. In this case, I recommend um, our multi-tool, which is a multi-cutter by Klein. It's part number 63020. Uh, this is a great uh, tool to have in your toolbox. Second of all, you need the right strip tool. We recommend the ICM PSA 59-6. This particular tool does RG59 as well as RG6 and RG6 quad shield. Uh, it comes with an extra set of blades and it's got ball bearing uh, fittings inside to almost last a lifetime. It's a great tool. Recommend it highly. Also, you need a good compression tool. This happens to be the double bubble patented uh, compression tool. This particular tool does not only uh, RG59, RG6, it does both your RCAs, your BNCs, and your F connectors. Uh, and then lastly, you have the connectors themselves. Uh, we like the ICM double bubble F connectors. Um, the green ones are designed to work. They're universal connectors. What you have to do is order one. This works on RG6 or RG6 quad shield. Or if you prefer to install high definition RG59, uh, the red connector is all you need, and this works on all types of RG59. It is the double bubble, so it, ha it provides a 360 degree, 360 degree compression on the cable once it's installed correctly. So let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and prepare the cable. First thing I like to do is grab the multi-cable cutter and, and square off the end of the cable to make sure you have a clean uh, cut. The next thing you want to do is grab your stripper, and you want to make sure your stripper is set up correctly. In this particular case, there's a little dial on the, on the back that allows you to select RG59, RG6. You want to make sure it's set up for RG6. Uh, make sure it's cleaned out. And then also as an extra aid, I like installing a piece of Velcro on top of the stripper. This allows you to uh, comb down the braid. And this comes in handy, especially if you're doing a lot of terminations. Uh, your fingers can get kind of torn up by uh, pulling the braid down a lot. And this actually uh, simplifies the process and saves a little wear and tear on your fingers. And I'll show you how that works. So once you've got your stripper set up and you've got your right cable, you install the cable into the stripper. And uh, this particular stripper has a stop, so you just push the cable in all the way to the end of the stop. Hold the cable tightly with your left hand and then do a couple twists to the right, couple twists back, and remove the stripper. And you're going to uh, leave a quarter inch of braid and a quarter inch of center conductor exposed. The next thing you do is you grab your stripper. And either again you can use uh, my little velcro trick here or you can use your fingers to comb that braid down but basically you want to get the braid away from the foil that's on the dielectric once you have uh, the braid down you want to grab your strip tool and use your furrow cleaner and actually go over that center conductor uh, dielectric and work it back and forth a couple times to smooth that foil onto the dielectric and that's going to make it a lot easier to install and it's also going to pick up any loose strands that may be exposed in touching the center conductor. You want to make sure you have no strands whatsoever touching that center conductor or you will have a short and you will not have a good uh, reception on your TVs. So once your cable is prepared correctly, the next thing you do is you grab the appropriate connector. In this case it's an RG6 so we're going to use the green FS6U connector. You simply install the cable into the back pushing it forward until the pin protrudes out the front. And you want at least a, core, a, a sixteenth of an inch of the center conductor uh, showing beyond the end of the green, green part of the connector. Once the connector is on the cable correctly, you simply grab your compression tool, pull the jaws back, insert the connector, release the jaws, and then press down on the handle to complete the compression. Remove the jaws remove the cable and now you have a very solid F connector installed on our G6 cable again the double bubble allows for a 360 compression not only on the outside but on the inside it's going to eliminate moisture and it's a very easy uh, connector to train on and to install and you're going to have many years of good service with this connector we hope this makes sense and we thank you for joining us again today all the people at cablegiant.com thank you for watching and we hope you have a great day